uh, yesterday was day one, but I didn't do any sort of update or whatever, so I'm just figured I will generally vlog a little bit throughout the week to let you know how I'm doing and put it all together at the end rather than trying to upload and edit every single day. But anyways, August 3rd at midnight, I did actually complete one book and one challenge before I went to sleep, which was to read the Paper Gods novella called Rise by Amanda Sun. It's cute, it wasn't amazing, but like I got through it super fast and whatever. It was a good way to start to just kind of get something done before I even went to sleep. And then the next day, I kind of took it easy and read this. My name is Mina by David Almond. Wow, it's really shiny, sorry. It's like a prequel to Skellig. I think the main character's name is Michael in Skellig. His friend Mina that he meets, uh, she, it's, she's the main character. And it's basically like a journal where she's talking about her life and what's been going on before. The stuff that happens in Skellig happens. And it's cool because it's got all kinds of font changes and the format was cool. It was really fun and fast and sweet. I really enjoyed it. I think I I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. Today I'm just going to be reading Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli on my Kindle and then we'll go from there. I'll probably read Stardust after that. I kind of want to get through the short ones as much as possible earlier in the week so that I can kind of relax with some of the longer ones later in the week. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm going to do any of the challenges today. Yesterday I did do the Instagram challenge which was a lot of fun. That's pretty much all. I gotta go get reading. Hope you guys are having a great booktubeathon and I will see you on the other side. book outlet order that I sent to the wrong address originally and then took a million years to get here because I had to go all the way back to book outlet and then all the way back to me again. It finally came in and this was one of the books and that was in it. The Ice Dragon by George R. R. Martin which happens to have blue on the cover and happens to be perfect size for a readathon. So I just read it in like, I don't know, 45 minutes? Not even. <laughs> it was super super fast. So that means that between that and Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli, I have two more books down for today and it's only 9.27. Hell yeah. So anyway, that is three challenges, four books. Pretty freaking sweet. Okay guys, that is a wrap on day two of Booktubeathon. I finished four books total now. I finished two today. I'm working on my fifth one. I'm making some good progress and I'm tired as you can tell by the fact that I would simply let the book fall on my face and that that's just the end of it. And yeah, I will see you on day three. Oh, it was 402 pages today also, which is pretty dang good. Good night. Hey, hi, it's day three. I am home from work. I am fresh and clean and that means it is time to get some more reading done. I started Stardust yesterday and I'm only page 73. A little chunk to go. I'm not quite halfway yet. So I got some work to do, but this is a short book and it's quick and I'm enjoying it so far. So I fully expect to finish it today. At the very least, that's what I want to get done. I want to at least finish that today, but I hope that I can actually start Gone Girl next because that's going to complete two challenges. Let's do it. Let's do it. impressive at all. I didn't have any ideas, but you know what? It was fun. I wanted to make a giant tower. One that I could like actually stand in or something, but I don't have enough books. <laughs> oh well, it was fun. It's not the most creative thing in the world, but I'm not actually going to enter it for the competition because I already have Ready Player One. So I just kind of did it for fun. So that's that. I'll go take a picture of it now. I decided to add to the tower because I just looked up the Instagram challenge for the day and it's take a picture of your pet with some books. I don't have a pet. And so instead I decided to just take the tower I made and put one of my oldest pals in there instead. Teddy gets to be king of the book castle. Let me fix your crown there, dude. And uh, he has a dragon guarding uh, my currently reading. I know. I know, I'm such an adult. I'm gonna go get some coffee and then maybe I'll actually start reading. <laughs> 
again. So <laughs> we stopped by the library after coffee and uh, that means I'm now adding two more books to my TBR because as soon as I walked in to where the YA books used to be, they're kind of reorganizing and cleaning things right now. There was a whole table full of some graphic novels that I never knew were there before. So of course I had to go up and pick up a couple. So I got the autobiography of Bigfoot in my own words and it looks pretty cute as well as Death Junior. These are both, I think, YA graphic novels. So I'm sure they'll be super fast and super cute. This is basically gonna turn out to be the readathon where I only read like a thousand pages maybe, but I'm gonna read like 10 books. Like that's, that's gonna be how this is gonna go, I think, cause I'm reading so many kids books <laughs> and now adding graphic novels. Like this is, this is just, whatever, time to get reading them. What, that, that's it? That's the end? <laughs> what, what, what? What did I, what, what did I just read? <laughs> it was really funny, but like, what? What? And that is a wrap on day three, or just about. It's like 11.20, so I still have a little bit of time to read a couple more chapters of Stardust. I'm only a little over halfway through. I read like 82 pages of it today. It's still only Wednesday, and I have now read five six, six books because of those two graphic novels I got today. So really not too concerned. Now I'm just trying to get as many pages as possible because clearly I'm going to do the book count at this point. I don't have to worry about that anymore. For now, I'm going to do a little bit more of this and then go to bed. Oh, actually, first, let me just tell you, both of the graphic novels I read were really funny. Death Junior was my favorite of the two. It was really just adorable and really hilarious. And I loved the art style. I was really laughing out loud a few times. Definitely glad I picked those up out of nowhere. And I think I'd like to read the next volume of that Death Junior one eventually. Anyway, that's it. See you guys tomorrow.